I'm really starting to think AIM doesn't want us to destroy Tony's weather tower. What gave you that idea? We can rebuild it? Or not. What's that smell? The bad news, our truck is definitely toasted. The good news, we've got tons of corn on the cob. Roasted. Oh. Hey. We need a plan B fast. We have a stark weather tower to blow up. Or smash. Mm. For the moment, I'd suggest plan B is running for it. I totally thought we'd lose them in here. Unfortunately, Hulk doesn't exactly do stealth. What we need is air support. All our flying Avengers are halfway across the world. Guess we'll have to improvise. Hulk? I really have to use the restroom. Oh, there's one up ahead. Oh dear, this could take a while. <laughs> Good thing he wore a helmet. Woman beating up giant bee men in the sky? Oh, well, that's Black Widow. What do you know? The Avengers really are out here. They're totally outnumbered. You didn't even need boot jets. Don't tell Tony. How are we going to get to the Stark Weather Tower before AIM regroups? Oh, hey, hi. Uh, we're the Smith family. That's Barb. Our daughter, Morgan, in the back. That Morgan, put your phone away. And uh, I'm Chuck. Yeah, so, uh, you need a lift? Would it be too much to have at least one Hulk-sized vehicle on this mission? What was that, Hulk? I couldn't hear you! Just kidding. I could totally hear him. The weather tower's just up this road. We can't thank you enough for the ride. <laughs> Our pleasure. The way we see it, it's everyone's responsibility to help save the world. Besides, we didn't like how those bad bumblebee men outnumbered you. <laughs> oh. Speaking of bumbling bad guys, hang on! We're right, we're right! Swerve left, swerve left! Uh, oh, wow, there sure are a lot of them. Okay, that's not gonna buff out. Drive defensively, dear. You get us to the tower, and we'll get the bad guys. Deal? Deal.
got him. Driving. That's great, dear. Eyes on the road. Big guy. I've got this. <laughs> yes, we did it. <laughs> so, uh, are we like uh, considered Avengers now? Dad, don't embarrass us in front of the superheroes. Totally Avengers. <laughs> Is it just me, or is that man in a corncob costume where the Stark Weather Tower used to be? Is he some superhero or supervillain we never heard of? The tower that was there, the Stark Weather Tower. Where is it? Oh, uh, Army of Yellow Soldiers took it away this morning. Wait a minute. This guy's selling popcorn? How are you still hungry? All Avengers who want popcorn, raise a hand. Fair enough. Popcorn's gonna have to wait. Look! <gasps> Made it. Mom! Thank you. Thank all of you. Black Widow, Hawkeye, Iron Man. I don't know which Avenger you are, but thank you. That's because I'm not an Avenger, ma'am. I'm this is our intern, Justin. Who are all of you? We're the Smith family. They're Avengers. You don't say.
sorry about your camper. Don't worry. We'll have one of our best teams fix up that camper and take care of whatever you need. Excuse me, transmission from Cap. Tony. We destroyed Stark Weather Tower 1, but I'm certain Red Skull has figured out how to use your weather machine. Yeah, Cap, we know. What if these attacks are just a warm-up? We have to find the third weather tower before Red Skull really cranks up the power. Uh, we can assume Red Skull's relocated the weather tower somewhere in this hemisphere. <sighs> That's the problem with you, Stark. You assume things. It's an educated guess, a hypothesis. With supervillains, you can't assume anything. He's got a point, Tony. We can't underestimate Red Skull. He figured out how to use your weather machine just as soon as he got away in that submarine. I'm just saying the areas in which he can hide a large tower are limited. Your approach to this problem is limited. Okay, genius, where do you suppose it is? Excuse me, Iron Man and Detroit Man. I don't mean to insert myself into your uh, argument. We're, We're not, not arguing. arguing! Yes, anyway, Cap, ooh, can I call you that? <gasps> Cap mentioned that Red Skull escaped in a submarine. Wouldn't the ocean be the best place to hide your tower? That would make sense. Why didn't we think of that? Because you were too busy arguing. Listen, I just received word. Superstorms are forming in multiple regions around the world, including New York and Wakanda. The ocean narrows it down, but that's still a pretty big place. You know, Hydra once had an underwater base at the bottom of the Marianas Trench. Let's, Let's start there! Cap and I'll take a team to search the old Hydra ocean base. I'll take a team to protect New York. Thor, you assist Black Panther in protecting Wakanda. We'll... Uh, hang tight and wait for that repair team. Sorry we ruined your vacation. What? <laughs> Are you kidding? Most exciting vacation ever! Quick Avengers group photo! Okay, let's go save the world. Can you please put me down? We're coordinating rescue efforts with city officials now. Acknowledged, Black Widow. Approaching our coordinates now. Go get them, Avengers. Everyone ready? Let's do this. Just try to keep up, Stark. Either Ames got into the underwater luxury hotel business, or we found Red Skull's secret base. Okay, team. There's the last of my weather towers. I really hope I get to destroy this one. You take care of the tower, Red Skull is mine. Attention, gentlemen. We have guests. Please give them a warm welcome. <laughs> Ridiculous wisecracks. Yes, yes, I must. And you're welcome. Huh? Uh. No, you're welcome. It would seem my time as Mother Nature may be limited. I shall make the most of it. That 
was almost impressive. Wait till you see what I do next. Let's give it everything we... Weather machine before it's too late. I'm not sure, Stark, but it looks like your weather tower's about to overload. Yeah, I'm afraid so. The power surge means Red Skull's unleashing something big. Very, very big. That much power also means that anything we do to stop it could result in an explosion so large, it'll destroy this entire facility. Guess we're about to find out who built the strongest suit of armor. On three. One, two... <laughs> I shall wipe this wretched civilization off the map! And when the sky's clear, it will be my vision and my power that will build a great new world! I wouldn't count on that, Red Skull! I am almost nostalgic, Captain. Just like old times, yes? Just like old times. You're still an egomaniac madman that needs to be taken down. I have not, however, missed your good guy speeches. We're out of time. We have to destroy this thing. Ah! Ah! better at this hero thing than you are, Stark. I'd say you're getting the hang of it, Hammer. Now let's do this! Gladly. Goodbye, Captain. Leave it to Red Skull to sneak off in the middle of a fight. Look! Oh, yeah! They did it! I will keep this short. As for you, time is very limited. The clever forces of AIM have reverse-engineered your weather tower, Mr. Stark. And they have ingeniously built a weather-controlling satellite. Just for me. Sadly, you will not witness my reshaping of the world with its power. As I have set the automatic destruct sequence in that now compromised Hydra base. Good day, gentlemen. We have to stop that satellite. Is this really the time to make a phone call? It's the exact time for this call. Hey, Cap, this is Cap. Thanks again for your help, Cap. Anytime, Cap. Why didn't you just call Captain Marvel in the first place? I don't know. 
Is it just me, or are you two not arguing? Actually, we were discussing some new technological ideas. We agreed when it comes to saving the planet, Hammer Industries and Stark Industries should be working together. That's great to hear. You can start working together by helping us plant all these trees. <sighs> Maybe the tree planting drone wasn't such a bad idea. That's the spirit. Every single one of us can make a difference, especially if we work together. Avengers? I am not an Avenger. Yeah, we know. But you can still help us shovel. Avengers, assemble! <laughs> <laughs>